In 2021, MFS Africa went through a revolutionary branding exercise, the first proper one since its establishment 10 years ago. We went from this to this. When it comes to the original branding and the shift away from it, there were differences of opinion. I think quickly as I started working uh, within the business, I started realizing that actually the brand we are leaving it behind a bit on what we're doing because the team started growing so fast and we started doing so many new things and we started getting into so many different spaces. It was starting to look a bit outdated. I definitely said something to a few people, one of them being Philip. The brand was his conception and his, his concept. If I'm being completely honest, I thought it looked like a kid's TV show. So we, we had a very, you know, old logo that was uh, started out as, uh, you know, black and white, essentially with some gray shades in it. At some point I felt that we needed a bit of color. It was extremely dull and gave us a very serious look and feel. And it was back in, this was like 2013. So it was more, it was the, around the time when the 3D logos were quite popular. So we sort of moved in that direction. Uh, and then we did a refresh again a couple of years later that brought it, you know, down to, to the, the 2D, uh, 2D and it's a slightly, uh, updated and modernized, which is essentially the logo that we had before we did this big move. Rebranding is no child's play, and this was no different. It was hard at first. <laughs> Although I understood the need for the change, I had to kind of work myself into the process. But I'm pretty glad with the outcome, I have to say. Um, and I wasn't the only person from Bayonic who had said it, and I know that there was some talk within MFS Africa about um, potentially rebranding at some point, um, or at least updating, refreshing the brand. And I think Zama had joined as the head of comms around the same time, and she obviously had been brought in in part to refresh the brand. But it was always a refresh. It wasn't like a full rebrand that we were talking about initially. I packed it in my head, but I, I said to myself, you know, before you can go and change the visual um, identity of a company, you need to know the company. And I joined and I got to know the company. And within a couple of, I'd say two, three months, I was already going, no, this company is way too big for this visual identity. We can't, I can't wait a year. It was difficult to find a company that we felt was really going to understand us and help us walk, walk through that process well. So I remember having a long conversation with a totally different provider that we ended up, you know, not going with at all and, and then chatting with Zama and she ended up making what I think was a very brave and correct decision to pivot to Joe Public. So what we really wanted to do was obviously create something for the brand that was quite unique and that also um, positioned the brand as a very modern player in the market, which unfortunately the, the current identity didn't do. Beyond that, I felt that it was quite a cold identity. Um, and again, looking at MFS Africa, they're a brand that's very much about consumers and wanting to make a positive impact in the lives of Africans. And none of that sort of translated in the, in the, in the existing um, visual language. As the process unfolded, revolution was on the cards, which needed a leap of faith. I remember the first time the Crops logo was presented to me. I was so scared, I won't die. Like, I was just so uncomfortable. I was like, what is this? What are, what are you guys doing? Honestly, I don't know if Zama knew it was going to be that drastic. I did not. I thought we were going to, you know, marginal change, you know, for uh, refresh colors and this kind of stuff. So I certainly was not expecting that. And I remember when it was revealed the first time, it, it took me a moment. <laughs> there was a moment in which uh, Joe Public suggested, well, why do we need the Africa image? Like, can't we just take it out? And, and somebody, if several people were like, no, 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 that's, we win home games. That's who we are. This is our space. And the, the response was, but it's literally in the name. Like no one's confused about this. And it was such a solid like mic drop moment. And I think everyone was sort of like, oh yeah, like people get it. It's incredible how at Everface Africa, you can bring different people from different parts of the business together and the values will always lead the way. We know we don't need to tell you our values, but here's a quick reminder. Simplify, care, be revolutionary. We got everybody together, the options were there.